Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Hey there, you friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! We're trapped! <laughs> <laughs> We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Whoa, chill the fuck out, lady. We're just people trying to avoid those things, just like you. Don't come in here and swear at me. I'll say whatever I want if you start threatening these people. You'll have to excuse her. The hell he, or anyone will. This is about survival. Do you guys not see what's happening? What is it? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join him then. You'll have something in common. God. Damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shits. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Oh, fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody! I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. 
You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> <coughs> You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! They're gonna get in! Shut up! Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Uh, uh. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible, so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel, not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. The pills are in there. It's 
not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Haley, you really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How's she doing? She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're... Uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they're dead. Lee, you got a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. You let that boy die. I know, man. I know. What would it have taken? You free duck, you clear your head, and we get that tractor off his leg. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. Good. You should. We need to be able to count on one another. Just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. There's no getting in there from out here. That grate does its job. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. I was just doing what I had to. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again, and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. 
You? I work up at UTA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Couldn't figure it out, huh? Uh, let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. As the unknown you fixed it. continues to spread unchecked, the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved one. God bless you all. Try to get some rest, hun. How can I with those things out there? Find anything? No, nothing. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. 
I don't plan to. Good. Because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Have you heard from- Not in a little while. Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. And there was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. Can you do that more? Well, I'm not gonna go looking for him. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Good. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. Okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dads are smart like that. We ought to clear this door for when we find the keys. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I think it'll be okay. Okay, here we go. <sighs> <sighs> Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? I hope not. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to them for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay. Because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, uh, let's get this done. Find you a bandage. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Lee? Yeah? 
What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me and do that, okay? Dad kept the remote for that thing in here someplace. It's the remote to my dad's TV. That's what I figured. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. Head back into the drugstore with me. Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was.